Hi friends, Luca Storelli is here and uh, before starting I want to thank you to all my friends who asked me to see the creative process I used for um, making this beautiful new picture with uh, my Amazon friend uh, Yin Se Yang. She was really beautiful during um, her trip in Rome on last uh, August and uh, she went here because uh, she wanted to shoot again with me and we decided to create uh, a fine art set of um, images that we realized in uh, a couple of hours. I remember it was the beginning of August and uh, it was a really really sunny day. I remember it was so difficult because I was alone, I was working alone and so I, I couldn't use uh, uh, diffusers or translucent panels to, um, to cut the light coming from the sun so many many images was uh, unavailable just for this reason and the few images I, I could use had uh, a lot of problems because uh, because of the lights so now we are looking at the final image i created with the help of uh, some compositing techniques <laughs> the compositing techniques that you asked me to to see to understand better and so uh, this is this is the original image i shot so as you can see we was on the on the back of uh, a fountain in uh, villa borghese in rome it was a beautiful villa with a lot of greens, plants, vegetations and so many, many beautiful elements. But mm, as I told you, the harsh lights was uh, a really problem for me. Yinsei was uh, wearing uh, this beautiful dress and her pose was uh, so regal. I decided to shoot from the bottom. She was upper in the fountain. As you can see, the colors, the, the tones were flat just for the light. And it was really difficult to think about how to resolve all these problems. The first thing I, I did was to clean up the face. I started working with a, a new panel made from uh, a friend of mine, uh, Nino Battista. He created a, a, a beautiful and a really interesting uh, skin panel that I am started using just from, from a couple of days. The skin panel here. In these days I'm testing it just to understand, but just with a click I immediately removed, uh, as you can see here, some reddish tones uh, on the cheekbones and um, on the jawline also before after before after yes just some subtle adjustment to remove the reddish here and after that i decided to use the frequency separation here to remove as you see here some hairs and uh, always here on the cheekbones also look at that And then after that, I use Dodge and Burn, just a little, let me reduce the size of the image. Okay, just to show you what I did, here you can see the before and the after, the Dodge and Burn level, just to paint on the, the body, some light here on the leg, and just to enrich the, the contrast here on the neck. I merged all the layers here on top and then I, I wanted to replace the sky because um, if you see it's so flat, it's so light and it's so much uniform without no contrast, without no, no clouds. And so with the sky replacement here, function here on um, Photoshop, I created here, as you can see, the, uh, the sky with clouds also. It's not perfect, but we are going to edit it later. So uh, the most important thing is with this interesting and useful function, I added immediately the sky with clouds because um, my intent was to make the image like a painting, like an old painting. And so in the, in the old paintings, uh, the sky was always rich of clouds, contrast uh, of tones, so it was interesting for me to give uh, to the image a painterly look using this function. So uh, after sky replacement group, I started to working with compositing techniques. So the first thing I did was to, to insert. 
a plant that I found on uh, Photobash. Photobash is a website where you can buy uh, interesting images, interesting uh, transparent PNG files that you can use in your works. So uh, this is the first that comes from the Arid Plants uh, set that you can find uh, on Photobash. This is the plant that I use, but as you can see, boom. What I did is to select with a mask the silhouette of Yensei because the trick is that if I select the subject I copy into a new layer the selection. What I mean is that I create the selection and I copy into a new layer so you don't see anything of different but what you can see is that you can insert behind there all that you want. So in this case, you will see the first level of plant here. Just to give a beautiful effect to the, to the image and just to enrich the composition because it was so arid, it was so flat because there was nothing behind her. Also, the, the, this rock is good, but it's not so much. It was not so much for me, so I added this plant behind the Yinsei. And then with the curves, I added more luminosity to the image because uh, uh, there was so much shadows, it was uh, just a little darkened. So I decided to use the curves just to give luminosity to the image. And then I refined just a little here the sky on I uh, erased the, some clouds here on the um, on the trees behind Yinsei. And then I used the Nikon um, here on filter Nikon collection, the pro contrast filter just to give uh, to the image a color contrast. Yes, I can do the same with the curves, but most of the times I use a Nikon collection filters pro contrast just to give this color contrast just with a single click okay at this point i decided to add the flying dress here just to make the image more magical so what i did is to add this layer of flying dress here but at the beginning the flying dress was this it was a white flying dress so i used a curves adjustment layer with clipping masks to reduce the luminosity because it was so it was too much um, lightened so i reduced the luminosity and then with a second u saturation adjustment layer i changed the color of the dress what i mean is that with this technique you can make the dress of the color you prefer so it was easy to um, find a color similar to the original. And then I added, as you can see, some sparkles here to make more similar to the original. <laughs> Even if it's not the same, but I tried to do my best. And this was the, the flying dress, look. And then at this point I used a generative fill because I wanted to change just a little, yes, okay, the perspective of the, of the image. Look, and now it's much better. At this point I changed just a little here, the, 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 this part of the, the back of the fountain and then I added the rock. And also, like I did uh, before with Yinsei inserting a PNG behind her, I did the same here because it was a nice effect to um, insert the rock behind the dress, behind the um, flying texture here. Because uh, you can see here, this is the dress. So <laughs> it's really easy to, to, 
to place where you prefer, but it's beautiful to, to have the rock behind just to create an interesting perspective uh, effect. I have here another rock on the left, it's a small portion because at the origin the image was um, in landscape format, but while I was working I decided to use the portrait mode because I wanted to focus the attention of, of people to, to the model, to Yinsei, thanks to the beautiful uh, pose that uh, Yinsei had when we was shooting. And so with the portrait mode my eyes are focused on her and not uh, on the background and not on the all all the elements all around her so I decided to use uh, this is the reason why I decided to use the portrait mode then I use also here some vegetation here on the right as you can see I did the same thing because uh, I had two types two different types of rocks but uh, we can see all because the because of the portrait mode but I did the same also here. Okay, this was the original. Look at that. It's completely green. It's unreal with the, with the, with the image. So I did the same. A cool adjustment layer with the clipping mask, and then a second layer with the use saturation with clipping mask. Look at that. And I changed the color. I changed the color of the of the plant, making it realistic and of the same color of the of the plants behind uh, you'd say here is not visible also this is not visible and then i decided to add some textures here on the on the wall just to make more interesting the this part because it was so flat so if you see, this is flat, this was flat and then it's much better with this uh, simple texture that was a texture I found uh, on the internet with a very low opacity, 60% but with multiply blending modes with a course adjustment layer just to reduce a little the luminosity I added a luminosity uh, effect to the image with two different layers of black and white. The first, just to reduce blending mode normal opacity 15%, just to reduce a bit the, the saturation of the image because I'm going to apply the color effects. And a black and white adjustment layer with a luminosity uh, blending mode at opacity 100%. Look the differences. In this way, the black and white adjustment layer is working on the luminosity of the of the image and it's much much better because you can change look at that you can work on each single color but only working in the luminosity mode and this is really interesting and good if you want to reduce on and reach the luminosity working with, with each single color before after look at that before after and now i added okay this plant is visible the same thing this is the original png file look this was the transparent png totally different luminosity totally different colors but as i did before a curves adjustment layer with clipping mask boom i reduced the luminosity and the second use saturation adjustment layer to make the color more similar to all the plants in the in the composition look at that as I did in uh, with with uh, with a flying texture, I can make this plant uh, of the color I prefer. I can enrich the saturation or reduce. So you can import uh, as many transparent PNG that you want, and you can make similar to your image working in, in this way. Then my favorite part was adding the the new set of color actions of um, only the curious 
And uh, for this image I used uh, the, the sunset in June because uh, I love the, the rest of the, that this new set of actions uh, give to my images. And then this was a subtle adjustment but um, adding some golden tones on, the, on this image. And I decided to use the sunset in June with an opacity of 32%. And then I added a, sec a second uh, action. A classic action that I use uh, most of the time, regal, just to uh, totally different luminosity, totally different colors, but as I did before, a curves adjustment layer with clipping mask, boom, I reduced the luminosity and the second use saturation adjustment layer to make the color more similar to all the plants in the in the composition look at that as i did in uh, <laughs> with with uh, with a flying texture i can make this plant uh, of the color i prefer i can enrich the saturation or reduce so you can import uh, as many transparent png that you want and you can make similar to your image working in, in this way then make more dramatic the image, look at that, because in this way I enriched the contrast, giving more visibility also to the golden tones on the image. And then with the selective color, here, working on the neutrals, look, before, after, before, after I made more uniform the golden tones of the image always thinking about the, the old paintings of some Dutch painters of the past that I loved the most I merged all the layers on top and with generative fill I decided I decided to boom give more impact to the image changing again the perspective giving more importance to the to the model to Yensei in this way I love most of the time uh, shooting uh, from the bottom because you can add regality to the image you can make more visible the pose of the model you can make in evidence the pose the body language of the of the model in this way because was, Yensei was so gentle and was regal in this pose look at that so I thought it was a good idea to shoot from the bottom and at this point I added another plant here and another plant here to complete uh, the, this part of the image with the same techniques so just to show you what I did this was the the original PNG for that the same I used in the past I did the same curves adjustment layer and use saturation adjustment layer to make the color similar identical to this to this to this and to this a generative fill layer but we don't see the effect because uh, I used this uh, this layer for the the right part of the image that is not visible because we are in the portrait mode I added again another small portion of uh, texture here because in this part it was missing and then I added the light coming from towers And then I added a smoke layer, a couple of smoke layers, but are not visible here because uh, they was on the far uh, left and far right part of the image in the landscape format. And then the magic again with the new uh, dodge and burn layer. In this case, I added a new layer filled with 50% gray filled with with 50% gray and then using the dodge and burn tool I added a 3d effect to the image painting with blacks on the black part of the dress and on the image and painting with the with the dodge 
giving luminosity to some parts of the especially of the dress but on the rocks also and on the body on the dress look before after before after all the shadows here the image now is more three-dimensional also on the plants on the rock it was a global dodge and burn then I added a vignette layer because in the old paintings also uh, most of the times uh, is an effect that you can see uh, to make the image more dramatic and then a vibrance adjustment layer just to enrich some tones that were missing before after before after and then a cubes adjustment layer just to make a little brighter the image and the image is ready this was just an example to show you that you can be mm, more more creative even if you start from a single flattened image because if i see this image the only thing that i like is the the pose of a yinsei but i don't like nothing else because light is flat there's no sky there's no colors uh, i don't see so much elements here on the scene so it, it's a normal and a common uh, image but if you work with uh, creativity and uh, you have the right um, tools you can uh, be more 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 creative so i invite you to to use uh, to work with the uh, compositing to use um, transparent pngs and as i did you can change the colors the light the the tones making all these different elements uniform in your scene and the power of the actions was that without that actions the image couldn't be like this so as i wrote a lot of times thanks to these actions for making me more creative because without the actions the image would be like this and uh, probably it's, it's not good it's not interesting for me but this is what i want to 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 create this is what I love and uh, this result was um, impossible without using this action. So I invite you to try and uh, follow me to see uh, more creative process like this and write me if you want to see many other techniques, if you're curious to see more about my works. Thanks friends, enjoy!